I had spent my whole life in and around the Gulf of Maine, and I was probably 19 or 20 maybe. That's when I first went scuba diving. Being able to actually go under and see that environment that you've spent so long working in and around was just absolutely, uh, it was uh, unlike anything I can even describe. My name is Marissa McMahon. I'm a marine ecologist, and I have been studying black sea bass in the Gulf of Maine for the past several years. My interest in marine science originally began the first time I went out in a boat as a young kid. We'd go out and haul up those traps by hand, and the trap would come up over the rail of the boat, and inside the trap would just be all these amazing critters that, even as a kid, your imagination couldn't even come up with. To this day, it never has really gotten old. Being both a fisherman and a scientist, I'm able to take those really fine scale observations on what's going on in my backyard out on the water and translate those into decisions on where to put my traps, but also decisions on what my business model is going to look like 5, 10, 15 years into the future. My name is Kurt Brown. I'm a commercial lobsterman out of Cape Elizabeth, Maine, and also a marine biologist at Ready Seafood. Oh man, I've always been wired to do science. I've always just loved problems to solve, and science is just, you know, that's what, that's what science is. It's trying to understand how the world works, trying to figure out why certain species are here and not there, or why these two species occur together. Those are just really fascinating questions to me. I love programming computers, I love doing math, and I love trying to, to bring pieces and information and data together, and that's what I get to do as a modeler. The thing that's most important about being a scientist is being able to ask questions and not being shy about it. What is it that you want to know? What grabs you? A scientist is just somebody that takes that question and then tries to answer it. I'm Andy Pershing. I run the Ecosystem Modeling Lab here at the Gulf of Maine Research Institute. So we know that because we've been putting a lot of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere as a species, that we know that the planet is going to warm up over the next 20 years or so. And so we know then that the Gulf of Maine is going to warm up. Anytime things change quickly, you have the, the potential for, for unexpected things to happen. We started to see this fish appearing in our traps, and when we talked with other lobstermen, we understood that it was happening everywhere. Lobstermen up and down the coast we're starting to see more and more of these black sea bass, which was fairly unfamiliar species before that point in time. Everybody saw the potential that climate change has in a nutshell. So lobstermen in that same year in 2012 also experienced lobsters molting and becoming much more abundant much earlier in the season. And we started putting cameras in our lobster traps just to see what was going on on the bottom. And lo and behold, we saw black sea bass swimming right around the bait, right around the lobsters that we were catching. Somebody saying, I saw something really weird, like I caught this in my trap and I had never seen it before. That's when our ears start to prick up and we're like, wow, that's a question that we might start to think about. And I think that's what really jump-started Marissa's research. So as a lobsterman and as a scientist, I was really, really interested to help her get samples that she needed. The only way that I was able to do any research at all in the Gulf of Maine on black sea bass was by having lobstermen who were willing to help me. They see things before scientists see them. They have years and years of this knowledge stored up so they, they understand trends and patterns in the ecosystem probably better than scientists. It's in everyone's best interest to have a fundamental understanding of how these fish are impacting not just lobster but the entire ecosystem. It's so cold and then it's water. Because climate change. Climate change. Yeah.